Hello, today we are going to adjust the needle inside the carburetor of your scooter and in this video I will show you how. Well, hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about the little carburetor right here, especially what's inside. We are going to talk about the needle. The needle is inside here. That's one of the parts that's going to work with the carburetor. Now, there is many things that are working inside here. There is the pilot jet, there is the main jet, and there is the needle jet, and there is the needle. So there is many, many things inside here. Now, if you think about it, there is like a little orchestra working together. The fuel comes through the fuel tank, it goes inside the filter, goes through the petco valve, the fuel valve, and then goes inside the carburetor. Now, the carburetor job is to make a little mix, right? And to make a little mix, it needs to help all a few little things. It needs the help of the pilot jet, it needs the help of the main jet, and it needs the help of the needle. So, after mixing everything together, everything is going to go through the Venturi channel and inside your motor, from the other side. Oh. So, all the little things that are inside the carburetor, they are working together like a little orchestra. When you turn in your throttle, from idle to one quarter, the pilot jet will take care of the mixing of the fuel. After that, from one quarter to three quarter, who's going to take care of business is the middle. After that, if you go from three quarter to full throttle, the main jet will take care of business. So, but see how many times are you in full throttle? Not really many times. Usually you're on the three-quarter throttle most of the time. So most of the time you are on the needle. So the needle is the one who's controlling really the three-quarter fuel mixture that goes inside your motor. So sometimes you really need to adjust the needle. Needle has an adjustment, has a little adjustment that goes up and down. So I'm going to show you how to adjust the needle right now. Okay, right here we're going to open the carburetor, especially on the lower part and on the top part. So, to remove the lower part, use the screwdriver, that is a Phillips screwdriver. Now, be careful when you remove these screws because they're very soft and usually what they do, they get stripped very easily, okay? Now, if they get stripped very easily when you screw in them or screw them out, somehow you can remove them with a vice plier something like that so you just grab them on this side and you turn not like that because you don't really no, don't have any room but you can grab them right here on the side and move them this way that's the only way to move them because if not you're gonna have a hard time these one two three four screws they're really soft now right after you open your carburetor right here you're going to see the main jet right here. Now we're going to remove the main jet. Usually you need like a flat screwdriver, but be careful because sometimes this part right here on top of your carburetor is made of brass. So this one, if it's hard or if it's been there with corrosion that doesn't want to move, be careful because you might break the screw right here, the main jet. So you should use a vice strip right here, this vice grip and you can remove the main jet, okay? Now, removing the main jet, you're going to have two parts. The main jet is made of two parts. It's made in one part that is, uh, is really the main jet, and the other one is the needle jet. So, grab it with a vise like that, grip vise, and just unscrew the main jet. Sometimes they look like they're stuck together, but they're not. They're just, you know, with corrosion, with a lot of gas, they get stuck together, okay? So, just remove the main jet. And you remove this one, you separate. This one is the needle jet, okay? That's where the needle is going. Right here. So, you're going to put them together right here. So, I'm going to show you how they goes. Right after you remove these two, you, need, you want to remove the needle. 
that the main needle, you can see it from this side right here inside the Venturi channel, you're going to see the needle. That's where the needle goes up and down inside here, okay? Now, to remove the needle and the diaphragm that is up here, you have to open up this part right here. But we have to be careful because there is a large spring inside and the large spring, what is going to do, is going to push this cover out. Make sure you're nice and gentle and you get the right screwdriver. You know, you want to get the Phillips screwdriver. It has to be a little larger, okay? Now, make sure you put all the screws in a place you're not going to lose them because uh, if you lose the screw, usually they're not too easy to find, you know, the way they are, you know? Okay, right here. After you open this one, you're going to open this top part right here and you're going to have a large spring right here, okay? So make sure this one is not going to fly away, you're going to lose it. So, you remove the spring and you remove the cover. After you remove these two, you're able to just put the finger inside here and remove the needle, right here. This one is the diaphragm that helps the carburetor to mix your fuel in and out, so it goes up, in and out, this part right here is the needle. Now to remove the needle down here inside, you have sometimes a clip or sometimes you have a Phillips screw to remove this needle. Because you need to remove the needle to be adjusting the needle. See right here we have the main jet on the line, that will be the bottom part. We have the needle jet and we have the needle right here. Now, now what's gonna happen that when you turn your throttle, your needle right here, that is sitting right there, is going to raise a three quarter of a throttle, you know? And up here is gonna keep going up until it gets up here. And the full opening right here is going to be open of the needle jet. When it's going to be open, at that point, the main jet is going to take care of business right here. So all the flowing of the fuel is going to go through the main jet and go to the Venturi channel right here and go inside your motor. But this one is going to help to go up and down. If you see there is a little holes right here on the side of the needle jet right here, that when they needle goes up, release the fuel, and goes inside the Venturi channel. Now, to make sure that you have the right mixture at three quarter of a throttle, you need to adjust this needle. To remove the needle, we're going to remove it right here from the center. There is a little screw. There is a Phillips screwdriver right there. And sometimes there is a clip. And there is a little spring too. Now this little spring is going to be inside here. Okay, right after removing the little clip inside or a little screw that you have inside, you're able to remove the needle that is inside from the diaphragm. Right. Now sometimes the scooter doesn't start or bucks down and these things is really dry right here all around. So what happened? that this one stuck to the wall of your carburetor, this little piston. If it's stuck to the wall of the carburetor, the needle doesn't raise. So if you keep your scooter sitting for a long time, maybe this one could be one reason why your scooter is not starting, because it's not opening up the diaphragm up and releasing the needle to go up, okay? So this one is a little trick that I learned with experience. Now, right after you remove the needle from inside there, right here, you're going to see the needle as a little clip right here. This one is a clip from the middle, right there. And usually this, this little clip is on the center part. You know, it's like on the center adjustment. Usually they adjust on the center right here, right here. Now, right here, that's the needle. If you like to adjust the needle, to have a leaner or richer fuel at three quarter of the throttle, you need to move this clip right here. To move this clip up here higher, on the next level right here, 
you're going to make your fuel leaner okay because you're gonna drop this needle a little lower now if you put this one a little clip a little lower over here your fuel is going to be a little richer how do you know when your fuel is richer or not it depends on what you hear sometimes from your exhaust pipe sometimes you're gonna hear a pop and that means when you hear a pop you mean that a sputter like a rich you're gonna be too rich your fuel if you hear like a bug down when you throw in the gas you turn in the gas the throttle at that point your fuel is too lean so you have to adjust right here a three quarter you know right here a three quarter of the fuel you're gonna feel the difference and what is the difference at that moment so raising this little clip higher you're going to make your scooter running a little leaner at three quarter of the throttle put this little clip a little lower you're going to enrich the fuel and three quarter of a throttle so this one you're going to reach perfection by test and tuning your scooter with this little trick now your scooter will run a lot better at three quarters of a throttle but you have to understand where you are how is your location how high you're in altitude many things you need to understand so unfortunately many times you have to try test and tune your scooter until you will reach reach the perfection of your scooter at your altitude or your location so to remove this one you can put it down and you can press down on the top of the needle but you have to be careful because this one's gonna fly away so the little clip so just grab it with the little nose plier so you you can grab it and pull it away right here you have the little clip now remember where the little clip was in the first place if it was in the middle usually they are set in the middle if they're set in the middle you put it a little lower or higher now if you go higher right here on the top of the needle if you put this one a little higher your fuel is going to be leaner if you put this clip lower your fuel is going to be richer at three quarter of the throttle okay now so what you do you just place this one right here and you press it down okay you can put it on the top but you have to test your scooter you have to test and tune this one is going to be easy because you don't need really to remove your carburetor what you really need is just to remove the top of your carburetor so you open up the bucket of your scooter you look inside the carburetor and you look inside you see the carburetor and you remove the top of your carburetor and you can remove the needle it's really easy to, to do to make your scooter run at the perfection state of your location now right here to remove it grab this uh, needle plier so the little clip is not going to fly anywhere and you just push this one in one way and the needle on the other way so and you can just place it anywhere you like to try this one now after you're done testing you know right here after you're done you think that this is the location that you really want it you can place this little needle inside its location there where you just remove it there is a hole at the end right here that's where you have to place it take your time not rushing yourself huh? and you're going to place it inside the hole right there at the end you're just gonna drop the little needle right there that's how it's gonna be it's always a little bit of a it's got a little bit of the play all the time even if when you put the little screw right here and you put the little uh, spring that it has inside there or sometimes it has a little clip but it always has a little bit of uh, movement right here to place the clip inside or if you have the little something a little piece of plastic you can lock in the little needle right there you can use a needle plier right there and the nose plier very long one and this one will help you to place the little connection right here 
Okay, right here, you put the little screw, you turn, or sometimes there is a little clip to close it. Now, all right, after you place the needle, you adjust the needle, you can put the needle back in your carburetor. Make sure when you put this one in the carburetor, you look at this part right here, there is a little bit of a curve right here. You know, a little indentment right here? That's where the diaphragm has to go. You know, make sure that it goes in and out smoothly. If it doesn't go in and out smoothly, you can spray a little lithium uh, spray grease or something like that, or a little bit of the silicone WD-40 on the walls inside right here or the little diaphragm. So it's going to help this one to revive itself, become alive again and go up and down freely. Right after you're done with this one, you're able to put back the top right here. You're going to put the spring and you can put the top right here. If you look in the back, it has a little, you know, hole right here, indentation right here. So you put this one in the spring and you're going to place this one in the location. Make sure you look at the shape of the top of the carburetor. If you see there is a corner here, okay? A corner here. So this top has to match the part underneath to be able to screw the two screws right here. Very important. After that you can screw the screw right here with a screwdriver that is a Phillips screwdriver. very easy to do but in the same time when you screw these ones make sure that make sure that the top part is not going to fly away you have to hold the top part because the top part has a spring inside and the spring is trying to push this part right here away okay right after you do this one you're able to place back the main jet and the needle jet. Remember, this one is the needle jet. And make sure that the little holes on the side are nice and clean, okay? Right here, you're going to place it right here. Slightly tight a little bit, but not too much. And then you're going to place the main jet right after you tie this one right here, the needle jet. You look inside, you can see the needle from here. You know? After that, you're going to place the main jet. Right on the top, you place the main jet. And you are ready to close the carburetor almost. But, you know, tie this main jet right here. And you're going to be okay. Here, right here. And you don't need to over tie it, okay? Right after you're done with this one, you can slightly tight a little more. But that's it. Now you can place right here you can place the floater with the little valve right inside. And you have a little bar right here. Make sure you don't lose the little bar because this one they don't lock themselves. They're really they're really free. So you it's really easy to lose these little bars right here. Right after, make sure you put the bottom right here. And when you put the bottom, look at the shape of the carburetor underneath. And you can place this bottom on the top, right here. And you can screw this part right here, little by little, without damaging these screws, because these screws, they're really soft. And if you damage them, you're going to have a problem, okay? Now this needle adjustment is going to bring your scooter to a total perfection, you know, from the top pilot jet to the main jet and the needle. If you adjust all the little things, you're gonna find your scooter running at perfection. It's not gonna be easy, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a lot of tests and tunes to go around the street and try your scooter. But that's how your carburetor is going to look when it's all put together. Okay, today was a really rainy day in South Florida. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel at any time. And thank you.